you and lay aside some weight. You feel a little bit better now. Thank you, Jesus. You see the sun peeking through the clouds. Got here, things won't look so hot, but now you're leaving things to look a little bit better. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer will fix it every time. Thank you, Jesus. I found the answer when I learned to pray. The best of every prayer of the righteous still will be able to touch. is prayer and the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let him snatch the word out your heart. Don't ever let the devil take prayer out of your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I got the word in my heart and I got a prayer in my spirit. I can take it. You can overcome anything that comes to your life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, there go another wave right there. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I got one over here. I got one over there. They ain't sobered up yet. Go ahead. Keep on standing. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Still got, got a little, little tipsy in the Holy Ghost. That's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good God from Zion. Thank you. Sometimes the doctor say, take two of these and call me in the morning. Some of y'all got your dose, what you needed this morning. From the Lord, thank you, Jesus. God wrote your prescription, gave you just what you need. Besides him, there is no other. I believe that as the prophet said, the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And I believe we serve the God that answers by fire. He shows up, he shows out. And all things we're supposed to do is let him have his way. 
we thank God for a church where the Lord has his way, meets us in unexpected times and places. Amen. And so we encourage you. Amen. We thank God for a 930 prayer. Amen. That has not ended. Amen. 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 It's spilled over into Sunday school. That's spilled over. Amen. Into worship. Amen. Amen. Spiritual gifts and operation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I felt like just coming out and say this. May Lord watch for Jesus. Let's go home. But amen. Amen. For the sake of those who couldn't get here earlier. Amen. We come back and amen. Have another round. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We encourage you to be a part of prayer when you can. Amen. We're praying for those who could not be here. Amen. Today, the Wilsons are traveling. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. For all of his blessings uh, shower down. Amen. All of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Bible study. Amen. On Friday, so Jan leading us in Bible study. Amen. Just thank God for her doing that. Amen. Beautiful job. And prayer call on Tuesday. Amen. So, amen. Support the services the best you can. Amen. Come to church the best you can. Because in this church, you never know. Any given Sunday, what God may do. Amen. 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 We also have your contribution statements. And uh, in this case, I don't get to speak to an offering. But thank you for all that you've given to the church uh, throughout 2018. Amen. Through your tithes and your offerings, your sacrifice you made. Amen. To be a blessing. Amen. Uh, to City Refuge. I'm not sure if it's streaming, but thank God. Amen. It is. Okay. Uh, it in the room. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. But just thank God for all you that you've given and contributions. Amen. To all our tithers. Amen. And everybody that sacrificed. Amen. To give. Amen. To this church. Amen. Matthew chapter 24. It's not an attempt to worry your, your patience, but just a thought that the Lord gave. And I try not to listen, but I'm not sure. Amen. If I'm co-signing to what's already been said. But Matthew 24, praying for health and strength. I think a couple houses had to bug uh, this week. I think everybody but my wife had something this week. They had their own separate day. Amen. But we just thank God for allowing us to have a reasonable portion of health and strength. Amen. To uh, be here today. Matthew 24, again at verse 32. Thank God for musicians, our ushers. Amen. Amen. Our praise team. All you that are in the house of the Lord, those who are watching us by live stream, live, and will watch the replay later. Matthew 24, verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branches is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Be it that day and hour, knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father, only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, there were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered or allowed his house to be broken up. Therefore, be also what? Ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man coming, who then is a faithful and wise servant, 
whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he doeth, shall find so doing. We'll skip down um, 25 verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, but go ye out to meet him. And all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. And y'all allow me just to take a, a leap from this passage of scripture, not so much the message of the text, but the message that came to mind from the text. When the church is now closed, oh Lord, I got it. when the church Woo. is now closed, Reset. Father, give us ability to preach this word to your people. Give us a ear to hear uh, what the Spirit has to say to the church. Yes, I pray those who are here and live and those who are here later, oh God, let this message uh, strike something in their spirits to make them ready for your soon and anticipated return. But this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray and all of God's people say, Amen. 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 This is not what I intended to preach, preach wanted sir. to preach. Amen. It's not anything new, anything fancy or revelatory. Some may say it's old school. Amen. But the Lord wants me to remind you out of these uh, passages of Scripture. If you, some of you have worked in a restaurant, you worked in a, a store, and probably you know, uh, first of all, you worked at KFC and many worked other places. But oftentimes there's a rush when, right? Amen. Before a closing. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we take for granted the store hours. You know, some Walmarts are 24 7. Then there are others, what they close at midnight. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, Houston Hampton Food Line close at what? 11. Move up here. Amen. And close at 10. So you think you're going to the store to get milk for the baby and you find out, oh man. Amen. The store uh, has closed. Amen. Some Walgreens uh -huh. were 24 hours. I got to Martinsville, think I can go to Walgreens anytime I want. Found out CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, all of them. Hey Amen. What? Shut down. Thank you, Jesus. Hey Amen. There's some McDonald's at 24 hours. Get you a Big Mac any time of day. Then the others, midnight, maybe 2 o'clock, uh, that they close. There are places that are 24 hours, and I'm not going to preach long, amen, uh, that we take for granted. We take for granted the 7-Eleven always going to be open. We take for granted, amen, the Wawa is always going to be uh, open. Even the emergency room is always going to be uh, available. Some of us, while we like online shopping, amen, we wake up at 2 a.m., we can grab our laptops, go on Amazon, and be able to what purchase uh, whatever we want. Sometimes we take that to apply to every business, even though a hotel may be, what, 24 hours. Uh, if you ever made a reservation and didn't show up at by a certain hour, you may have found that your reservation was what canceled, amen. It was still within your time block, amen. But after eight, nine o'clock, amen, they figured you're not gonna show, thank you Jesus, and they canceled your room, gave it to somebody else and still charged Amen. Your credit card for what a no show. Amen. Even if you ever been what to an airport. Amen. I was recently in Atlanta. Sometimes you're in Atlanta. It takes hours, hours. Amen. To check your bag. It takes hours to get through. Amen. The TSA. Taking your belt off. Taking your shoes off. Taking this, that, and the other out your bag. Amen. This last time I was blessed. Walked right up to the ticket counter. Didn't have a single person in line in front of me. Amen. Then we was going. Amen to the TSA, amen, and, and it was wide open and the person said, hey, don't even go there, come on over here. Didn't have to wait for a single person, went right up to the counter, thank you Jesus, got through the screening and I had all this time in the airport, amen. And so you realize that when you have that amount of time, sometimes you take time for granted when you have what? A lot of time, amen. And so you have a choice, 
either to go to your gate, amen, and go and hunker down, get your book, amen, get your music, take your nap, get something to eat, and wait where you're supposed to. Uh -huh. Or some people, what they'll do, they'll go roam around, they'll go to a restaurant, they'll leave, and then come to find out when this call for their gate, uh -huh. it can't what? Make it back in time. And they end up what? Missing the flight that arguably they were on time for to catch. Amen. And so oftentimes, thank you, Jesus, when uh, the preacher is preaching, we hear a common phrase at the at closing of the message. What? Uh, that the, the doors of the church, what? Are open. what? Now open. Thank you, Jesus. And it's saying that if you can accept Christ right now, you can repent of your sins, that you can receive salvation, that you can receive what? Eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. And understand that while uh, church people are flawed people, thank you, Jesus, and the church militant, not the church triumphant, the church militant has flaws. Understand that in this age, in this uh, dispensation, amen, the church is the means by which salvation, what? comes to humanity. Yes, Jesus died for our sins, but how is the message of the cross? How is salvation what delivered to humanity? It comes through what? The church. Yes, through the foolishness of preaching of Christ, but also the organism known as the church. Thank you, Jesus. We are what? Birth into what? The body of Christ and are saved. Thank you, Jesus. Not may not need necessarily uh, a particular church, may not need a particular uh, congregation, may not need necessarily a particular denomination, but you need to be a part of the church in order what to be saved. Are you praying with me in here? For even Jesus said, thank you, Jesus, he didn't come to establish a religion, but he did say upon what this rock, uh -huh. he said, what I will be on my church and the gates of hell, what shall not prevail against it. Even Paul said that Jesus, what is coming back for a church, uh -huh. what without a spot or wrinkle. Even in Ephesians, Paul tells us that what? The church is what? The bride of Christ. And even in Corinthians, he tells us, that, he, uh, that, the, that the church is what engaged or espoused, thank you, Jesus, to Christ. And so understand, my brother and sister, the Lord wanted me to remind the saints, thank you, Jesus, that this is not the time, what, to play church. Hallelujah. But it's time to what, get in the church. It's time to what, stay in the church. And if it's ever time, it's time for what, us to what, be the church. Thank you, Jesus. This is not the time for us to be fig tree saints. What are you talking about? They had the appearance of fruitfulness. Thank you, Jesus. But there was no fruit. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Uh, the most fruit, thank you, Jesus. The leaves come and then the fruit. But the fig tree is backwards in that the fruit comes and then the leaves. And so here, when Jesus saw the fig tree that had leaves but had no fruit, it had the appearance of fruitfulness, but he did not did not have the actual fruit. That's why the scripture tells us, hallelujah, that people that got what a form what of godliness, but a what denying the power there. They know the routine of church. They know religiosity. They know the lingo of the church. They know the praise breaks of the church. They can they perhaps could quote more power than other folk. Thank you, Jesus. But at some point, your lifestyle has to line up with what the word of God yes all have sinned and come short and yes we have missed the mark somewhere but God is calling for his church to be what the church that, that we don't uh, 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 take uh, a consolation in living in mess that we don't take consolation and get comfortable being a pig that continues to go back to the mire that we're not the dog that returns back to the vomit. How shall we continue in sin? What the grace may abound. The scripture said, God forbid ye that are dead to sin shouldn't be comfortable living in it what any longer. Can I get a witness in here? And so the Lord is telling us, yeah, you might shake the preacher's hand. Yeah, you might go to what new members class. Yeah, you might sign a form or a contract to join man's church. But in order to join God's church, what? You got to be what? Born again. You got to be born what? Of the water and, 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 not or, or if, and the spirit of God. Can I get a witness in here? For the Bible tells us, unless we 
had what the Spirit of God, we are what none of His. I want the DNA of God. I want the blood of God. I want the name Reach of up. God. I don't want no ifs or doubts about it as to whether or not I'm saved. It's a terrible thing to be born and raised in the church and yet die wondering whether you made it in or not. It's a terrible thing to go to somebody's funeral and everybody got to lie or spit up nice things. She so dressed nice. She so baked good cakes and pies. She so did sing good. But you wonder in the back of your mind whether or not they ever got their business fixed with the law. And there are people that are born and raised in the church that have never been born again. Yeah, your hands felt hot. Yeah, tears came down your face. Yeah, you spun around like a top. You felt God, but God never came inside. He knocked at the door, but what? You never let him in. And so the Lord is saying to the church, this ain't the time to wonder whether you're saved or not. But this is a time what to make your calling an election sure. Yeah, I can't put nobody in heaven, but I sure hope that when my time comes, you'll be able to say he fought a good fight. He finished his course, and now is laid up with a crowd of righteousness that they be able to say if anybody made it, surely he made it. Can I get a witness here? As I come by, I realize that the Lord is long suffering, that he's not willing that any should perish, that God is full of grace and mercy. He don't want to send nobody to hell, but I come by to tell somebody that there's coming a day and time. Not yet. <laughs> that the doors of the church uh, are about to close. <laughs> and if those of you that got Holy Ghost discernment, uh, you've been at Walmart uh, and you heard them come over the PA system. Uh, attention Walmart customers. Uh, Walmart is about to close uh, in 15 minutes. Uh, we need you to finalize your purchase uh, and bring them to the fountain counter. Uh, the Lord is saying to the church I'm getting ready to close the church it's time to get right with God because the doors of the church are about to close can I get a witness here it won't be any more so winning in evangelism with the church closed no more outreach or community service with the church closed no more auxiliaries and departments no more robes, collars, or crosses. There'll be no more altar call, baptismal services. No more tarry service. No more holy communion. No more preaching, teaching, or Bible study. With the church closed. No more conventions, conferences, or revivals. The only thing we do down here that are transcend over there is your ability to worship God. Won't have to preach no more. Because if you made it, you're already saved. Won't have to take Bible study no more. Because if you made it, we're going to learn at the feet of Jesus. Can I get a witness here? Won't have to pray no more. Because troubles will all be over when I make it to the other side. So I'm getting ready to tell somebody. The warning has been issued. The church is getting ready to close soon. Not because we fail, not because the church came up short, not because of the scandals, not because of negative publicity, but the Lord is getting ready to come back for his church, and when the church get up out of here, the church will be closed, and I put another saying, the church will one day actually go out of business, not because we fail. Not because we went bankrupt, but mission accomplished. All said and done, all aboard. Those that are going to heaven, get on board. Those that are going in the rapture, get on board. Yeah, it's about to be over. 
is about to end. The church is about to close. Come on and get saved. Come on and get delivered. Come on and get set free. You don't have to die in the streets. You don't have to be lost. But come on in. The light is still on. Come on in. Still preaching. Come on in. There's altar workers still tearing with you till you get the Holy Ghost. But there's going to come a day you will show up at the church and it's all going to be locked up. Saints nowhere to be found. No more preaching. No more church. But the church going to be called. Yeah. <laughs>